evening, thanks for coming back to my channel. I'm just going to talk through my running plans for 2018, just to give you an idea of what videos are going to be coming up this year, and also give you um, opportunities to maybe come to some of the same races if you want, and meet up with me and say hello and that kind of thing. The first thing that's coming up is the National Running Show. That's going to be on the weekend of the 20th and the 21st of January. That's been held at the Birmingham NEC and it's a big expo for runners. So you're going to have a stage there, all kinds of different talks and different speakers. There's going to be Dane Kelly Holmes. There's going to be Jenny Meadows, a middle distance runner for Team GB. There's going to be Joe Pavey, who does the 10K and half marathons and that kind of thing for Team GB. So some really experienced elite athletes there. We're going to have some sort of adventurers and distance runners and people who take on mad challenges like Elise Downing and also Sean Conway. If you're not sure who they are, you can, can look them up online. The social media influencers and runners like Susie Chan will be there. So there's going to be the opportunity to meet lots of people that are pretty cool. You'll get to hear from them on the stage. There's also going to be stands and brands are going to be there. So you're going to be buying your running shoes, your nutrition brands will be there, your sports apparel brands. Um, and I'm sure they're all going to be doing show prices, so you should be able to get some bargains. So tickets for that are completely free. If you click on the link in the bottom of the video in the uh, description, you get a free ticket because I am an ambassador for the National Running Show and I'm able to offer you that free ticket. After that in February, um, at the moment it's not confirmed, but I'm hoping to do the Milton Keynes Winter Half Marathon. Now that was a December race, but due to the inclement weather it was deferred and it's going ahead in February. Milton Keynes Winter Half, I think the sign-ups are going to open tomorrow on New Year's Day. So uh, I'm going to sign up for that and hopefully run that. Moving on to March then, uh, on the 25th of March it's the London Landmarks Half Marathon. That is an inaugural event that's never been staged before. And I'm going to go and do a video of that one. This one was absolutely hammered on the, on the PR on social media when they launched it. And um, God, they got, they got signed up so quick. I understand that the website kind of crashed and all sorts because so many people were trying to sign up. So it's completely full this race. You can't sign up to it now. But obviously I'll make a video, um, check that out when it comes out. And then you'll get some idea of what it's like. And you can see if you want to sign up the following year. In April then, uh, I'm doing the London Marathon. Now, I previously did a video to say uh, I hadn't got in in the ballot, and that was, was right at the time. Um, but in that magazine that you get, the Rejection magazine, there's always a couple of competitions in there to try and win a place. Um, and I've chanced my arm and I entered uh, the New Balance competition, and I've only gone and won a place. So that's me in the London Marathon again for 2018, and I'm really happy about that. Then in May, I'm moving on to the Milton Keynes Marathon. That is another race that I'm an ambassador for. Um, I've been encouraging people to sign up for that race because it is an absolutely fantastic marathon. And given that you probably can't get into London now unless you want to commit to raising £2,000 odd for charity, the Milton Keynes Marathon is an absolutely brilliant spring marathon. Um, so hopefully to see some of you there. Following on from that race, the next week after that, I'm going to be doing the Run Gatwick Half Marathon. Now, that's another inaugural event. It's never been staged before. I think entries are still open for that one, so if anyone's interested in doing it, sign up and hopefully see you there. But um, it's done by the same crew that do the Run Rygate Half, which I ran last year and I um, did a video about. That race was fantastically organised and ran really smoothly. I wasn't particularly organised, I was late. And if you watched that video, God, that was a laugh that day. But anyway, um, the run Gatwick half, you know, if, it's, if the run Rygate is anything to go by, it should be an amazing event. And I'm really looking forward to that one. So again, uh, if you can't run it this year, I'll bring you the video. You can check it out, see what you think and maybe go for it in 2019. Moving on to June then, I don't have any running commitments booked for June. But what I do have uh, in Aylesbury, um, there's a, a local midnight walk for the local hospice. Uh, and previously, this always been a women only event, but they did a, a poll, a survey, whatever, last year, and generally everybody has voted that they would prefer it if men were allowed to do it as well. So I've entered that one. I'm going to be doing that with uh, my wife and with some friends, and we're just going to have a nice casual walk at night and a chat and a catch up. So I'm looking forward to that one. And then after that, I don't have a great deal booked up yet. The only other confirmed thing I have, um, if you watch my 2017 roundup video, I mentioned I was looking for an autumn marathon or, or a European marathon to do. And I was looking at a few different ones. Um, Frankfurt was on the list, but it wasn't probably top of the list. But then 
Park Run recently announced Park Run Germany, and they've already started a couple of events. Um, it's only a couple of days after I put that video out, they announced that there's a new one starting in Frankfurt, and that really clinched it for me, because Paris was on the list, but I have done both of the Paris Park Runs, so I figured, well, why not go to Frankfurt? I can tick off a new Park Run and a new marathon all in one weekend um, for the same money. So um, I've sorted that out. It's um, 73 euros to enter, up until midnight on New Year's Eve, and then the price goes up. So if anyone's looking at doing that, but I've managed to get hotel, flights, airport transfers, and entry for about three hundred and thirty quid. So it's a uh, it's affordable. You know, it's not not the worst price you could come up with. So if anyone's looking for an autumn marathon and wants to join me, you're welcome to join me over there. I'd love to see you there. After that, then I've got nothing else booked for the year. But obviously, things are going to change as, as the year goes on. There might be other races that come up. So I'll try and keep you updated about what I'm doing. So just a reminder then, if you want a free ticket to the National Running Show on the 20th and 21st of January at the Birmingham NEC, look in the comments below this video. I'm going to put you in a link, which is my ambassador referral link for you to get a free ticket. If you sign up and uh, you come along to the National Running Show, I'm going to be there both days. Um, so come find me, you know, give me a shout. Tweet me, Bayes187. Hit me up on Instagram, Bayes187, the same. I'm Bayes187 on everything, basically. So send me a message and we can sort out meeting up. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more running-related content. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.